Our ultimate goal is to uh, have an environment where discrimination does not occur, where every decision is based on merit. But we do need to have a process in place to handle situations when discrimination does occur. And so my role is to, to make sure that we have that process in place. So with regard to complaints, the problems of backlog case inventory and case processing times at USDA Civil Rights have been many years in the making. And I've inherited this situation and I want to tell you what I'm doing to address it. The automated complaint system, the Civil Rights Enterprise System, which was fully implemented in mid-2007, has enabled us to start tackling these problems with better monitoring and reporting capability. We're still not able to conduct an accurate trends analysis because the historical data that we migrated into the system has come from unreliable sources, the systems that we had in the past which were inaccurate. But this system that we have now is a vast improvement over anything that we've ever had in the past. And going forward with the input of current case data, we will be able to do uh, trends analysis. The system is beautiful. It works beautifully if the employees put the data in. And we do have some challenges in that area. We, um, we have a, a lot of hands have to touch the system, including at the agency level and the department level. We've had uh, training for everyone involved. We have uh, monthly user meetings so that any bugs in the system or any glitches can be worked out. And we are uh, continuing, of course, to work out those bugs and to work towards in, uh, further enhancements of the system. But the, the, the system is new. We need to have an opportunity to give it a chance to work. In addition, we are implementing several strategies to address internal and external factors affecting the management of civil rights complaints. These strategies include special efforts to eliminate the backlog, I have uh, hired uh, contractors and engaged in contracting services to help us eliminate the backlog. We will be uh, finished with the employment backlog by the end of this fiscal year in terms of uh, issuing final decisions and we've already eliminated the program backlog uh, at the final agency decision stage. I also have uh, started something new where I require weekly and monthly inventory and productivity reports that come to um, the leadership. And so we need to know how things are going and how things are being accomplished so that we can uh, intervene if things are, are going awry. We've also revised performance and productivi productivity standards for employees. We've modified complaint processing procedures. Uh, as I mentioned, we're utilizing contractual services and interagency agreements to assist with case processing. And we're encouraging increased use of alternative dispute resolution in the informal and formal stages. We're addressing timeliness and jurisdictional issues in a more timely way. And we're providing additional training for staff, filling critical vacancies, and implementing quality of work life and professional development strategies for the uh, Office of Assistant Secretary for Civil Rights Employees. And I want to mention uh, while I'm talking about complaints that we do not condone retaliation. Uh, we have a policy against it. Anyone who feels as though they've been retaliated has the right to file another complaint, a new complaint, and have that heard. And um, we have mandatory annual training, annual civil rights training every year at USDA for all USDA employees and the 2007 training, uh, civil rights training, was in the area of retaliation. I want to speak a little bit, uh, my last point is about accountability. Every USDA employee has a civil rights and diversity performance standard against which they are evaluated annually. Agency heads are evaluated annually based on their civil rights performance, and in the past, they've been able to get a good score by earning extra credit. So for example, by conducting training above and beyond the mandatory civil rights training that all USDA employees must take or putting on a conference. However, 
during my tenure, I've changed the, the practice so that Could you going, sum up? Could you yes. sum up? Uh, going forward, certain factors will be absolute and cannot be made up, such as completing complaint investigations on time. So that will help us in our, in our timeliness. Also, USDA has a policy that requires that we refer a case to the appropriate HR office for possible disciplinary action whenever there is a finding of discrimination. This is a, a policy that went into uh, effect in 2006. So in summary, I respectfully disagree with those who say we are doing nothing to improve civil rights at USDA. Perhaps we haven't uh, done enough to get the word out, uh, but we've been very busy with all these initiatives and um, I'm very proud of, uh, of our record and what we're attempting to do. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Uh